Steelers Nation. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got us one of the ones. We got us one of the ones. All right. Hit that like button one time for the culture. Don't forget to subscribe, baby. It's about 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And yes, the boy was in his jammies getting his potential sleep on up until I got the alert. Da -da 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 -da. Mr. Unlimited. Oh, I'm talking about you don't know, Mr. Unlimited. Oh, man. He said, he said, yo, still his nation. Let's ride. That what he said. I mean, my man put out the post, the vid, and uh, yeah. Adam Schefter, you know when he say it, you know it's official. But uh, yeah, Russell Wilson is going to sign with the Pittsburgh Steelers once free agency officially starts on March 13th. Yeah, baby. Day before my birthday, too, man. So shout out to that. Maybe that was my birthday gift. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? All right. But uh, yeah, man, he'll be signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers for $1.2 million dollars. Shout out to that. Um, obviously, the Denver Broncos will be taking on the $38 million that um, is remaining uh, for this year's salary. So shout out to them for that as well, man. But um, very, very uh, unique situation, man. Obviously, you can see I'm excited. Hence the reason why I jumped out of bed. All right. The boy still got the do-rag going, too. Don't play. Okay. But anywho, it's one of them ones, man. Um, talking about a nine-time Pro Bowler, a... Uh, Super Bowl champ, a guy that has played in two Super Bowls is one, you know, throw away from potentially winning two Super Bowls and probably winning an MVP as well in the process. Russell Wilson, man, is a dynamic player to the fullest extent. Um, very smart football player in terms of the cerebral element of it. You're not going to fool him. Um, definitely one of those guys that is an extension of the coach on the field. Uh, could call a lot of the plays at the line of scrimmage, can call his own offensive line of scrimmage. He does all of those things, can work out the gun, can work from under center. Big time play action pass guy, even at this stage. Play action pass is, you know, the name of his game. Climb that pocket, big arm, and the accuracy, man. We know he throws a beautiful moon ball, man, when you see that high arc. And uh, yeah, that's his signature, man. But um, pocket awareness, man, is a, is a big thing with Russ. Uh, whether we're talking about just I know from my personal experience is playing against Russ and even now when you're still watching him uh, based off his Denver tape last season you still see his ability to be very elusive in the pocket and um, ultimately make it a lot more challenging on the defenders especially the secondary when they're having to plaster you know these receivers like that now the receivers he had in Denver yeah they're not they're not talking about you know what, what we got over here man i think that's gonna be a nice upgrade for him i think the uh the one thing that i'm interested to see how it plays out is offensive line wise i mean over in denver he had a lot more protection in terms of just time to throw whereas you know obviously over here man we, we're still configuring some things man but um as a whole you're talking about a proven leader you're talking about a team captain you're talking about a face of a franchise type guy, future Hall of Fame type guy. Um, and regardless of how you might feel about his, you know, personal, uh, you know, in terms of his personality or how he acts, the one thing that is consistent is he is a winner. He is a guy that can uh, go out there and change the trajectory of your team. Even at this stage, we saw even in Denver, yeah, they didn't win a lot and they had a lot of issues going on personnel wise and internally. But yet and still you watch him this past season, you can still see the production. You can still see what he was capable of even through some of the adversity. And you think about some of the teams that he uh, was a part of beating last year. I mean, the Buffalo Bills, right? The Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, some of these teams had some guys out there, man. And, you know, he was still able to go out there with that Denver Broncos team and find ways to win on the road in some of these scenarios as well, man. So that's the one interesting part now. I know there's still going to be a faction of people that are under the impression that, man, the Denver Broncos are paying this guy to leave. The Seattle Seahawks didn't want him. They wanted him to leave. Man, it's got to be something wrong. He's got to be this type of cancer and things like that. Now, I will say this. When you have a guy like Russell Wilson, yeah, that is a big-time person. That is a big-time person that you know, just comes with who he is because of the success that he's had and because of, you know, the brand that he's been able to create off the field. But the one thing that I will say is the version that we are getting, I think is going to be very different than what they saw in Denver and what they saw in Seattle towards the end of it. 
This is the version that now has to reset and has to prove himself again. The one that went to Seattle, or the one that got paid multiple times in Seattle, he became the man in Seattle. You know, it was a different mindset. He goes over to Denver, he's a high paid guy again. It changes the mindset over there. He's coming over to Pittsburgh now after having a failed stop. He's coming over to Pittsburgh now after, you know, being essentially moved on from in Seattle and moved on from in Denver. And now he's going to have a chance to see, can he prove that he's still one of those guys that we view as elite? Because for the majority of his career, that's how we've all viewed him. So to me, man, I'm really excited to see how he responds in that environment to that adversity because that's something that we haven't seen from him since early on in his career where we saw you know some of the best versions of him so that's the one thing that i am excited about when i think about our wide receiver group gp and dj when i think about pat i think all of those guys are going to be a lot more excited about the ability to learn from russell wilson and work with the russell wilson whether you're looking at what he did with jerry judy and company in denver or even tyler lockett dk metcalf heck doug baldwin and company out there in seattle this is a guy that understands football at a very, very high level. And the big thing that I would say is the money part, I, I think, is is the big reason why this happens, right? When you're talking about getting him from $1.2 million, yeah, the talent that he has at $1.2 million, oh my gosh, it's night and day versus you're trying to compare his talent to a $40 million contract. $40 million, you're like, hey, bro, man, you ain't like that no more, right? We would all agree. But at $1.2 million, come on now, what are we talking about? That's the reason why we should all be excited. That's the reason why this is a no-brainer type move. That's the reason why, regardless of what somebody might personally feel about him, you bring this guy in because he's already done anything that we're hoping and wishing that any quarterback on our roster can develop into, right? He's already won a Super Bowl. He's already been back to another Super Bowl. He's been the guy that's, you know, gotten paid multiple times. He's been a leader of a team, man. Um, when you can get that type of production, that type of experience, that type of cachet for $1.2 million, yeah, baby, come on, what are we talking about, man? What are we talking about? So that's the thing, like I said, for me, man, in terms of why I'm excited about this and why I do think this is a uh, awesome move. Now, the ripple effect, what does that mean for Kenny Pickett? Uh, a couple of things, man. You go one of two ways. Um, the first approach is you are ready to learn from him. You're ready to compete against him. Well, actually, compete against him first off. You're not going to just, you know, turn it over and say, oh, yeah, man, you got it. Nah, you're going to compete against him because you're a man. Got to do that. So I think first thing is you compete against him. See how it plays out. If you beat him, great. If not, all right, cool, man. We ain't tripping. We can learn from him, though, right? This is Super Bowl champ. Nine-time Pro Bowl. It's a guy's future Hall of Famer. Heck yeah, man, this is a great opportunity for me, even if it's not me being on the field per se. And it's not as humbling as a guy that I might view as I think I'm better than that Mason Rudolph situation per se, right? Not saying that that's the case, but we could obviously see that it could feel like that. But the other way that this could go is Kenny is pissed off and he doesn't want to have anything to do with the team. And from there, he could essentially request a trade in. Then we kind of deal with that whole ordeal as well, man. But um, those are the two ways that I kind of see that playing out with Kenny. Um, I hope for his sake, man, that he, you know, shows up and he's ready to compete against Russ. And he puts his best foot forward regardless of who the competition was going to be. Like we talked about when the season ended. Hopefully for Kenny, man, he's been in that lab grinding. And for him, he'll come out. And put his best foot forward, push Rush, and if he beats Rush out, then great. That's a great scenario. But if he doesn't, then at least we know we got somebody that is proven, somebody that we know for a fact can optimize the talent that we currently have and hopefully get us back to that confetti game, baby, because that's what the name of the game is, baby. All right. But for Kenny, man, that's kind of how I look at it, man. I think that, you know, this isn't the end all be all for him. I think for himself right now, he's in a great position. They still have you under contract. You're still cheap. They have not said that they want to move on from you. Yes, this is a gut punch, 100%. But at the same time, man, this is going to give you an opportunity to, number one, see what you're actually made of in terms of have you improved to the extent that you can beat out a Russell Wilson. But number two, if Russ does beat you out, it's not the end of the world because it's Russell Wilson. It's kind of like if Matt Ryan was here or if Ben Roethlisberger was here or Tom Brady showed up. It's like, we get it. 
Like, those guys are different. They're special. So, that's kind of how I look at it, man. But as a whole, man, I love this Russ move, man. I think it's going to be great for this team. I think it's going to be great for this offense. I think we needed a leader. And he is definitely going to bring that to this building, man. But um, drop it in the comment section. Let me know how you guys feel about Russell Wilson signing or agreeing, you know, ahead of time to sign with the Pittsburgh Steelers once free agency officially begins on March 13th, the day before my birthday. All right. But either way, man, you know, I appreciate you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out of this thing and subscribe if you are new to the channel. As you can see, we love the squad. All right. But until next time, baby. Peace.